Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 using the Road to 56 mod in which we're playing as the Empire of Japan. Recent immigrant influx. Recent policy and good living conditions within the Empire of Japan has caused a recent influx of immigrants. They're now settling on our territory. Fuminaro, uh, Fumimaro uh, Kano has commented that this will show that the policies to help the nation or grow the nation populations are working as intended. Great news. But we're not going to stay this way. We're going to go with the unthinkable option. The future of our nation requires a path that has never been conceived by our leaders. This option must be now be contemplated in earnest. The right to ascend, the right ascendants in France, approach the young officers, exchange the exiles. Um, we'll probably want to do that one first. Uh, this one was better to do a little later. Because mm, it lowers our sort of popularity. It doesn't really matter. More stability. While we previously uh, sent our left leaning officers and civil servants into untold exile into Manchuria. Or unofficial exile. We should not exchange them for more right leaning ones instead. And approach the young officers. After we do this first. Ah. Oh, we already have them. Nice. Um. We cannot be communist and have that. So, with this campaign, we'll see what happens. We will definitely see what happens. Currently, party is communist, huh? Okay, cool. Why are we playing Japan Road 56? Because we can. That's literally because. That's, that's literally it. Because we can. Um, has national spirit here, Hito. Mm, we'll see. Uh, let's see. Uh, old guard. Is that really worth it? I mean, that's worth it in the end, yeah, but still. Um, will the people. Ah. Probably go that way eventually, too. We can just keep our political power for now. For greater good, would it be bad? Revolutionary minds. Hierarchy. I think here we really care about here. Not too much. I kind of like this, but obviously can't go that way. I like that one as well, but we'll wait. What was this for it? Uh, the Mongol United Autonomous Government Rebels. The takeover has led to a declaration of autonomous Mongol independence by Prince D. Unwilling to respect the established order, the defiant behavior can set a pre dangerous president. We must retaliate. But join us. D has agreed, agreed to the establishment of the Mongol United Autonomous Government, and Prince D has been appointed as chairman. They now loyal to us and has broken away from the KMT, so we can them greatly. Well, I wasn't planning to go to war before we go to war, but you know what? We could try to go to war before we go to war. Might as well, right? Mm-hmm. We have fighters. Where are you guys? Fighters, maybe? Yeah. Bye. Um, there you go. Go, 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 go. Let's see what happens. Uh, cheating the trees. Oh, we go to Ethiopia. Uh, we could prioritize stuff here as well, but we'll see. Can't we just keep our political power for now? Take it to the Naval Conference. Keep pretty much everything the same for now. Maybe that drives stuff, which is fine, which is fine, fine, fine. Um, I really don't want to do anything here too much. Nippon oil would probably be very good to do for us, though. Video mm, game for oil. Yeah, synthetic research speed doesn't improve, but fuel refining does. That's pretty good. Or Tokyo Arsenal. Mm, which way do we want to go? Sure. Let's go in. Kingdom of Italy abandons the naval trees. If you want to build this, please go ahead. We. You cannot tell us no. Thanks for now. A little bit of combat experience before things go too poorly for us. Getting a little bit of experience down here. Treaty sign for now. We can't quite abandon the treaties, but you know, it's whatever. No, we're going to cheat on them. Chahar. Nice. And we'll pop it up for now. Because we can. And go that one too. Base strike. Let's pop it in. Very nice. Um, I'm not sure the Civil War is supposed to have fire or how it's supposed to happen, but. You know what? I'm here and willing to learn. Get banned communism, huh? Can we ban anything else? Uh, Anti democratic raids. Weekly stability. Uh, I mean, at this point, yeah, you, you can't. You could try. There's just stability, but who cares? Exchange the exiles. The uh, Japanese journals exchange. We approach young officers. The other generations are too set in their ways to be easily swayed in the new way of thinking, which will start with the younger generations instead. 
The process of exchanging our right-leaning individuals and civil servants for the left-leaning ones we have previously sent into unofficial exile in Empire Manchuria has now been completed. Let's strengthen our hold over the Empire of Japan. Yay! Sniper teams. Yay! Flamethrowers. Yay! And train. Yay! And it's just a bunch of fuel stuff. Or naval stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Inter service rivalries. Don't really care too much, to be honest with you. Just building a bunch of cities up for now. Uh, Chief of the Army. Don't really want to get any of that stuff yet. Technocrap. Economist. Hmm. Huh. We'll grab you too, or even boost up. I didn't realize we get another guy who gives us more comedy support, which is very nice. So now we're really trying to rapidly improve how much how communist we are. 0.12 every day is not bad. It's pretty good. <clears throat> it's already been scaled to 50%. Holy crap. With this going down. Nice. Very good. And we're losing weekly stability, but you know, whatever. Cast a die. Nice. Uh, for 36, that's not bad. I love that we already have five research slots. Isn't that stronger than what's in base game in vanilla? I think it is. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's pretty darn good. Uh, order above all. It's not democratic. Damage garrisons, bounce approach. Mm, I like more daily compliance if possible. Possible. Yeah, I'll go with will the people eventually too. Total equality? We'll probably go total equality. In the end. And for the greater good, uh, revolutionary minds. I like being revolutionary, but the greater good also sounds really good as well. I kind of like this one though. But it doesn't really help us out at all right now. Ideological struggle. Uh, that's not bad to attack more. Uh, division organization goes up slightly, slightly, slightly. Now, 20, basically 27% jumps up to what? 37%. Not bad. <clears throat> Cast a die. In which we go to. War immediately. <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <clears throat> Naval stuff. Mentoring project, of course. But let's go with this one. Cassidy. Our political and military base is secure enough. It's time to seize their destiny. Might as well. Oh, we can go straight to war economy. Well, oh, that wouldn't be bad, actually, too. So, uh, this guy's kind of handsome, isn't he? Fumemaro. Fumemaro. Kono. Nice. Is not in a civil war, so we can't do that one yet. Is not in a civil war. Fate of the Imperial family is not in a civil war. Is in a civil war. Smash imperialists. Using experience of some of the defectors, we should finally be able to pierce imperialist lines and mark the trap of the revolution. Now, I don't know where, where it's going to start, but. What do we do that right now? Get more factories? We only have 62, which is not very good. In all honesty, it's not very good at all. Uh, yeah, you guys are fine. You guys are still training, which is fine as well. Up here, you want to go south. As much as I love Lancer, I also want to get cooldown and... Because you can't get Torpedo Expert if you go Lancer, which sucks. Which sucks a lot, actually. I gotta do that, too. Need more motorized? So, in the end here, we can either go with our greatest enemy and join the Comintern, or do Asian Communist Solidarity. Which doesn't sound bad to get the Chinese Soviet Republic with us. I might actually go to war with them first, puppet them, and then give China, or, you know, People's Republic of China more stuff. So, we'll see. And strike the old oppressors. That'll be fun. In the M2. That'll be a lot of fun. So the majority of the nation, or at least the sport, is communist. Or just we could avoid the civil war and not have it spawn, but where would the fun be in that? Yeah. Not enough daily communist support. Never enough. 41%. Democracy. What a waste. What a waste. But before we do that, let's say just in case. Because we'll have to re go to war with the Empire of Manchuria and stuff like that, but that's okay. Gives us time to get a lot of cast and uh, fuel, right? Ah, cast the die. Declare war. So, with you guys over here, we'll do this and everyone else. There you go. Quickly move through these territories if you can. Um, you guys are, a lot of you guys are politically connected, which is not very good for us. We want to take Tokyo as fast as we possibly can. Actually, just do this. There we go. Led by Field Marshal Whom. Alright. Smashed Imperialists. 
Anything else here? War bonds, collect Ooh, this stuff. Get three more aluminum. Do we need more aluminum? In the end, yeah, we will. Mm, aluminum is a vital material for the war effort, and this time of need, it's necessary to collect or organize collect points to reuse bikes, pots, and other uh, objects for the war effort. Uh, we still have all the stuff here. Combat reports, naval stuff, don't really care. Um, formalized militia formations. Free template, it's not bad. Request Soviet support. We request assistance to occur civil war in the closest, likely supporters of a cause of the Soviets to the north. Perhaps we could trade the South Sakalian Peninsula in return for a group of Soviet volunteer divisions. Can we do it without them, maybe? Scrap, scrap resources. It's not terrible. Oh, and remove to get more war support, too. Uh, let's go with war bonds, though. Anything else here? No. Just go in if you can. Do we have any planes? We have literally no fuel. We do not have any air bases, do we? Oh, crap. Why, why don't we start with any air bases? That's stupid. Go in around. Cut him off. Go in. Um, what is this? Reserve transfer. Repulse rate. It's fine. Go in. Go in, go in, go, 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 go. Korea liberated. The chosen potentials fall into foreign hands. They have liberated the Korean people. It's madness. We have no time for them right now. If you can win right here, right now, that's all that matters. Land are nice. Good, good, good. <clears throat> Excuse me for my voice. Oh, goodness gracious. My bad. Take Tokyo. Mechanical competing. That said, the focus said that's all we need to win the Civil War, so. Ah, fascist fleet of Manchuria. There we go. With the capture of Tokyo, the fascist government has fallen, and the remaining supporters of military units have fled to the Empire of Manchuria. We're just taking control of the outlying lands of Korean. Outlying islands and Korean and Chinese possessions. So war is effectively over, but the truce is tenuous at best, and the fascists have not been decisively defeated. We'll deal with them later. Ah, now we have the Republic of Korea here. Look at that. And they have their own unique focus tree. Look at that. And the Imperial Kwantung territories. Did this change them at all? Not really, no. It's exactly the same. And so. Cool. Hey, we won. Riots in the streets. Oh no. It seems the public has been ignored for a bit too long. Angered by the current situation, unable to take any more, violence is erupted. While their demands are reasonably moderate, they are undoubtedly costly. Our brothers are being manipulated. Oh. Well. You get more attack, more defense. It's alright, whatever. Nationalized Zabatsus. Actually, what do we have for Zabatsus? We have state Shintoism. Oh, look at our, look at our dude. Political power, Zabatsus. Ooh. Is that really worth it? Not really. Duplicate air research. Militarism is pretty darn not bad. Uh, balance and civil unrest for now. Alright, Red Brigades, Red Pacific Fleet, open up universities. We've lost some 50% stability, which I understand why that would take so long to get that, but let's go this one first and then do the fate of the Imperial family. The largest corporations of our nations long held unprecedented political and economic power. It ends here, the state's control will not be challenged. Fast fleet material. Yeah, we already went over that. But the fate of the Imperial family. The town's come to see the last vestiges of hereditary rule in Japan. Must decide what the fate shall be befall the Emperor and his family. Nice. Build, 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 build. For the love of God, build. Better fighters? Yes, please. Yes. Lower yourself by three, maybe for now, because we've got a lot of things we want to get through here. Alright, so now we can make some divisions. 30 combat width. These guys are really thick, really heavy. <clears throat> Which wouldn't be necessarily a bad thing, but still. 18 combat width, that's actually not terrible. Supply's not going to be terrible either, because I'm thinking about sending soldiers to ch China and whatnot. Um, those are horses. Cav garrisons. I can't do that one yet, which is fine, whatever. Um, in the meantime, keep training for now. And I, I only like one really solid division template. I love this one, but it's just going to be too big fighting in China initially. I want to wait, maybe. Or maybe not. Remilitarization of the Rhineland. I might use this Dokoritsu Ryodan. So all but you and you. You can't... Oh, god dang it. Right, right. Oh, you guys are... Huh. Okay. Well then. Radio is not bad. Get some more radio. Excavation. It's almost 36, but not quite. Tank wise, get some more light tanks. We'll use them against the Chinese. Go down two more. I 
Plane wise, how are we doing? We have like no planes, right? Yeah, we have no planes. God dang it. Are you kidding me? Wow, that's pretty bad. We're gonna need a massive industry here. Alright, so with this, I see the protesters' demands. Where's the spirit of civil unrest? The public wants projects and programs. Maybe if we agree to some of them, violence will end. I'll probably do that. We're gonna get you the ringleaders. As order above all. Prior to steel ship for guns. Or steels for guns. Um I don't honestly really care. Air army aircraft. Yeah, I probably you honestly prefer this one. Ships is not bad. Institute indiscriminate conscription, which I like a lot. But we'll do that one first. Uh, special forces attack. Get you some mountaineers. That'd be really good too to get. But open up the universities first. Almost be allowed to stay, no matter their uh, heritage or social status. And then doing rebuild the civil service. To manage your nation properly, you should rebuild the civil service with those people who are most capable. Fate of the imperial family. The time's come to see the fate of the uh, emperor and his family. A hereditary social status is no place in Japan we're building. What should become of them? Have their heads? Exile them. Um, add exile them. You know what? We can exile them for now. We'll probably find them eventually as well later on. But like I said, open up universities. We'll do rebuild the civil service. Also, we did get the London Naval Treaty signatory just because we're not going to go to war with the United States before 1940. Hopefully. Probably. So, if that's the case, there's no point. I don't want to build up a massive navy yet until like 1940 to get the actual ships that we need. So, we'll probably break the, the treaties eventually if we can. Uh, if possible, yeah, naval treaties. We'll ban the naval treaties once we uh, get there, too. So, uh, We'll also do public works, probably, and people own mines. So, red brigades would be very good as well, but we'll do that one. And then finish the fight. Ooh, I like that one a lot. Uh, we must bring the fight to our old colony and eliminate the last bastion of Japanese ideological advers adversaries and public works. A new series of public works will ensure work for all, as well as improvements in nationwide infrastructure. And here we are at now, everyone, 1938, February 19th. We've just finished off uh, People Own Mines. People will be allowed to own a stake in the mines they work in. Improving their worker motivation and efficiency. And an aluminum plant? Might be really good to do. Do we need more aluminum? Oh, yes, we do. So we must do that now. Nagoya aluminum plant. Well, you, we will harness the power of our workers to increase the nation's self sufficiency. Not a bad idea. As, I, as you saw on screen, we did invade successfully, which is great. Um, army expansion, army expansion, which is not bad. Uh, it's okay, naval, new naval estimates are not bad either. I like to do this one. Uh, army expansion law, government must have as one of its core tenets, immediate and drastic increase of our military forces. So, at this point, I just put nine divisions here. Uh, we do have some marines, but they're not very good. We're, obviously, we're out of fuel, but we're destroying a lot of the, the enemies here. Uh, let's see, 15,000, and then versus 68,000. I guess we do want to go to war with Korea as well, well, but we'll see. I can't imagine they'd be too strong, will they? Fuel refining is good. It's, like I said, 1938. Rubber. Yeah, getting some more rubber would be very good. So I just want them to, like, you know, have them just run into our lines a whole bunch. Get some more army XP and stuff like that. Get some more marines for now, too. Because make us a little bit stronger as well. Make them a little more bulky. And so that's why I have the other army here, too. So. Alright, not bad so far. So they're just going to rack up the casualties, destroy all the guns they have. Get a. Oh, French states there, too, huh? Not bad, not bad. Um, anything else here? What do we have? Ah, maritime patrols. Cool. Jungle under the clothing. Um, we can do all that stuff. I do want some mountaineers, though. And I do have some military police, too. Because of four garrisons and stuff. So, yeah, overall, not bad. 92,000 have been lost. We do have some air... We don't have air superiority because we have planes here, but we don't have enough. Just never have enough. Also, we did go with an order above all just because, like, we keep getting this stupid thing, crackdown and civil unrest. When the boot is applied correctly, the neck must bend. So, we should never have to do that again, hopefully. That's the only reason why we went with that route. Ooh, anything here? Amateur specialist. I like more attack. Go with amateur for now, because he can. Everyone's joining the Axis, which is not very good for us. Crackdown is a success. Well, the disc continues to sell the blitz, so they've learned the hard way to keep their pri ideas private. Other one needs lingers in the air, the ride on the military people have broken up, uh, the protests, and the people have returned to their everyday lives. The cost of revolution is high. Uh, they revolted as well. Okay, let's get some military police as well. That'd be nice. We got a lot of immigration, which is fine for us for now. I want to improve uh, worker protection stuff like that too. Gap ship stuff. After this one, though, like I said, army expansion law. 
This guy wants to be offensive, but he's already level 4. Pretty nice. Pretty darn good. Ooh. Are they, are they really going to kill their divisions here? That'd be kind of nice, too. Mm. Legal stats of women. More weekly manpower wouldn't be bad, either. So, actually, if you guys just go and train for now. Combo's been sunk. Ooh, we lost two destroyers again. Sucks. It's fine. It's fine. Losses. Under 40,000. Not enough, obviously. We're on Grand Battle Plan, which is not bad. I kind of prefer superior firepower, because we're going to use a lot of artillery. But invasion prep time. Uh... This is not a bad path at all. It's not great, but it's not bad. You know, I guess we'll go with this route. Why not? Helps with naval prep time. We'll need a lot of that too, anyways. Hey, nice. Another carrier. Sure. Support thirty-eight. You can do that one too if you really want. Train, 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 train. Becomes a mountaineer, which is very good. Ah, I'm gonna go to war with these guys too if you really wanted to. How many divisions do they have? They are fascists, which. Hmm. I might have to do some funky stuff here just because I don't want to go to war with the fascist powers of the world just yet. Even though we were able to go to war with, um,. Some of these guys are ready. Nice. Oh, lost two subs. But they lost two subs, they lost two combos, whatever. Oh, that's not good. Well, up an early German Soviet war? That's not ideal. Quite not ideal. Oh, goodness gracious. Yep. These guys, are they still dealing with all this stuff here? Uh, Red Army. Um, do they have a border? It's probably gonna screw everything up, but whatever. Axis here. Commenter could probably take this guys out. Yeah, go ahead. Well, looks like we joined the commenter. Yes. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ammo 38. Destruction speed. That's pretty much it. Some recon eventually, but not yet. 39. Anything here? No. We're good still. SRD. More organization would be very delightful as well. And can we naval invade? You might as well just go to war with these guys too then. Didn't imagine, did not think I'd be going to war with the Axis in this campaign already, but... And there goes Italy too. Well, not bad. Good job with that. Attack. Ooh. And come on, just link up, link up, link up, link up. And there we go, cool. Two front war, not bad. No stability, which sucks, but whatever. We'll deal with it. Um, nuclear scientist, not bad. 38. It's only in the middle of 1938. Could we get some more tanks? Can we get some anti tank? Maybe. We try it. Peter Machine's nice though. Mm. Bombers, medium bombers, might as well go those next. Wow, oh, those guys really kill themselves. Uh, how are we doing here? We just need more artillery. That's not bad, actually. Could use more melees though, too. Invade in the Norwegian Sea, so be it. Capitulated, which makes sense. 
More immigrants even though we're at war, which is fine with us. Army expansion, not bad. High command costs. Naval stuff. Red brigades. Recovery rate would not be bad. Well, what are you there? Liberate Korea. Well, we're kind of already doing that already, so we must go down this route. So that's not bad, but I can't really do anything there. So I guess we'll stick, stick here. Army expansion. Achieve our aim of expanding the military. We must use the skills of those officers who've proven, who, who have proven ability to train men in the art of warfare. Victor Allen's fighter modernizations. Oh, that's not bad. Basket battalions. Diversify tank roles. Uh, form volunteer corps. Fighter modernization. We must maintain air superiority over enemies in all areas, including air warfare. Modernized fighter plans are central to achieve this. Small arms modernization. Our military force require modernized weaponry to be able to come up and eat with those of our potential enemies. Yeah, just naval stuff that's out of date still. Global order. Well, like I said earlier, there's not really much here. I mean, I want to probably go this one, which would not be bad. First tear, though. That's not bad either. We'll get you eventually. Too. You know what? My monster get you now. Get the benefits of using this person now, because we already have garrisons here, so might as well, right? Take out Soul, thank you very much. Anything else here? Hey, three Italian subs. Because we've got, unfortunately, we have the French state. Hopefully, the, uh, they might go still. So, oh, Philip Italian. Um, we have the Axis here, of course, but common turn. The UK has gone in what direction? Authoritarian, so they're not fascist, which is good. These guys should all die here in the end, too, anyway, so. Leaves a toe. Oh. Go to Pyongyang, please. Munich agreement, so be it. Oh, crap. Oh, I mean, we're already technically aboard them anyway, so whatever. Now, with this, United. It's one solid front line. I was not gonna think I don't think I was gonna pop at them, but you know what? We might pop at them in the end anyways. Are there any other planes? Dive bombers? That'd be nice. Especially the Soviets on this front too. All that gives them a lot more army XP and whatnot. Collective security. Bloody Bureau. Oh, whatever. Hey, Chris Gun, thank you. Red Army is not very good. Oh, good God. They purged the ship staff. Not very good. The Dano Soviet Agreement. Trade Agreement. Understaffed bureaucracy. Oh, God. Civil unrest, which we had, which we hopefully got rid of. Oh, God. Please don't have a civil war. Full of love of God. Please don't have a civil war. Or parliamentary Republic. That's fine. We've lost 22,000. We've killed off 259,000, which is not bad. Italy and, Ger and Germany are the two biggest threats to us right now. I don't want to do a poor working conditions just because we could use that too. Um, at this point, just go and grab this. Good God, these guys suck. Um, and grab some support artillery and engineers. You'll be fighting in the mountains a whole bunch too anyways. I don't like that we can't convert these divisions. Why? Why? Convert you to at least one Mountaineer division. That'd be nice. Ah, uh, they only sell miles too. Oh, that sucks. A national victory is going to be a bad thing for us. <clears throat> now that's good in itself. Got the air bases. There's an immigrant influx. Nice. Most formations. Eh. Protect Tokyo. We definitely need to probably do that eventually. We've got enough war support. Uh, war bonds would not be bad, but like I said, I want to improve working conditions too. Just build more. Stability though, is super, 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 super important. Hey, we got him. Nice. Good stuff. I'm going to start doing that stuff too, as well as fuel stuff. Alright, so. Now we got to do these pieces of poo poo again, like we did earlier. So the axles will die over here. I'm going to assume that axles will invade through here too. 
Arm expansion is good though. Fighter modernization. Um, let's do small arms first because it's only 1938 still. Over here, is there anything we can do that would be really beneficial? Theater training, meticulous preparation. Unit elitism. Well, that's not bad. Infantry experience gained from combat, that's not bad. Training capacity, ideological loyalty. Yeah, that would be very nice. Design cost. Over here, logistical focus. Lots of pockets would be really good. Victory or death. What is this? 100% more, more preferred tactic. Wow. Of course. Well planned attack, supply consumption. Navy fuel consumption would be very good too. 5% more fuel. Or we we'll keep working on our land doctrine. Um, in all honesty, we're going to use up a lot of fuel right now, anyways. Oh, asymmetric warfare. We could have done that one too, but whatever. I'm going to go with this one first, just because we're going to be using a whole bunch of fuel the entire time and use a lot of air stuff too, so. Because after this, it probably would honestly be a good idea to maybe jump down here if possible. Since China would be at war, we could probably also go to war with China too, right? How long would that take? 105 days is quite a bit, though. Nice. And who we'll grab next? Do we need more resources? We need we need rubber. Hmm. Infantry specialist. It's only 37 and 30. That's not bad. That's actually really good. Oh. Oh crap, now we have to fight the French god dang it as well. Wait, what? Why is everyone joining the Axis in this campaign? Jesus Christ, that's a lot of dudes. And the Spanish will join them as well. These guys, I'm going to imagine, are not going to join the Axis. But you never know. Oh, actually we might invade here first. Invade through these islands, and then... I think we're really kind of in a tough spot right now. This is not good. I want you to go back to the home islands for now. That'd be fine. Improve working conditions because we need more stability. Scrap resources. It's fine, whatever. We got plenty of manpower though, which is really nice. Um, just from here. Right there. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Come from here. Invade that area too. We'll see. Is military police done? Yes, it's been done for a while. Garrisons. Exchange out with military police. There you go. Oh, you got it. Already. Nice. Need more support equipment? That's just fine, fine, fine. Even though we have like literally no aluminum. Not bad. 87. Some more military police help suppress more people. I love the suppression. In all honesty, you could probably use some of that too. Yeah, we'll do okay. Also, you guys. You never know, the Chinese might attack us. 0% stability order above all, of course. Uh, prospect for research would be nice. Don't really need that one too. Let's get the war in China. Mm, I'm okay. <clears throat> China isn't our priority right now. I uh, uh, don't really care about inter-service rivalries right now. See, ooh, machine tools there. Looting resistance. And Feng Chan. Military factories. Well, let's get more compliance first. Resistance goes up, which sucks. All the compliance will go. Oh, 27 percent is pretty good. Nine percent is not good, but still going up every day. It's good. It's gonna take some time. That's all. No, I guess we're. Uh, I guess that should be looking pretty good. Um, head down here. What the heck are you doing? Jesus, what the heck? You guys actually go through here yet? No. 
Ah. Oh crap, the interventionist policies. I might have to do some fuck stuff here in which to make sure that uh, other people go to war with each other. I'll put it like that. Cool. And Kempite Repression. Kempite answers to the Home Ministry while at home, but they are under the Army's orders while overseas. They're essential for the security of our Imperial Dominions. Old Guard. We'll get rid of this guy, maybe. This guy hurts our war support, or whatever. Nice. He's just bought more fuel. Or just say, kill ourselves and just go to war China right now. Do we, can we, do we have the resources for it? Not really, but... Oh, well, that's not good, too. That's actually quite bad, so... Uh, I might have to do some fucking stuff off here. That's the problem with, uh... Um... Go to 56. Yeah, it, it gets really... Sometimes not very good. Medium bombers, not bad. Destruction stuff, not bad. I mean, we could send him over here, but you know, it'd be one thing. But yeah, it's not very well balanced just because of the way it's been set up, because of the Road 56 stuff, and you can still have it separating itself. But you know what? We'll probably end the episode here, and I'll probably do some stuff to make it a little more balanced. Bicycles, not bad. Mm, airborne stuff, armor stuff, pack guns, less piercing, less heart attack, less production costs. Is that really good? Hmm. Your naval estimates. We must issue new estimates for the size to increase our navy. And thereby, the dockyard facilities that will be required to bring about this increase. Which would be nice. Uh, let's do Red Brigade. Every man who must do their part to protect the state will ensure they have the opportunity to do so. Mm. Uh, sub detection goes way down, which is not very good. Range focus. Agility focus. I like agility. And protect our islands, guys. Work in progress. Wow. Oh. Armor divisions? Other nations have already learned of the power of their armored division. We must not fall behind. Develop more advanced and more powerful armor models. Along strike at the enemy both hard and fast. And I'll well pack some guns. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.